All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. I thought I'd uh, shoot a quick one. It won't be a quick one uh, whilst I prepare my lunch. So today we're going over to Apex Brewing and these guys are out of Sweden. And this is a can of the Terminus Double IPA, clocking in at 8% ABV. I uh, picked this up from the Beer 52 web shop and uh, I've actually had one or two beers from uh, Apex before. Um, the only one I think I reviewed was, it was not it was another IPA, I can't really remember. Um, but I actually came across these guys when I was uh, subscribed to the Mikla Beer Club, which I might have to uh, rekindle that love affair uh, in the new year, because I've been missing the uh, monthly Mikla boxes and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so when I saw that they were stocking some Apex, I thought, let's give it a go. Because I think the last time I had beers from these guys, they were just a tiny bit green uh, for my liking. But I've actually come to quite enjoy a little bit of a green edge to a slightly younger IPA. Weird voice I made there when I inhaled. Uh, so don't know when this was canned, but best before is the 21st of February, 2021 lovely stuff i do like the artwork there and it says music people and beer so i'd imagine there could be potentially some musical references in regards to both the name of the the brewery as well as the artwork and also potentially the name of the beer itself so i'm not sure what this is hopped with but i've uh, not not had anything from a place like sweden for quite a while so i thought i'd give it a go so let's give the beer a pour and it's pouring exactly as you would expect a contemporary IPA to uh, pour like. Lovely sort of a lemony marmalade -y look to it. Nice and hazy. Two fingers worth of uh, a nice foamy, slightly off-white head. Looking nice and juicy, so on the nose. I'm getting like a slight sweet tropical aroma little hint of mango there's a big hit of blood orange grapefruit that sort of thing a very slight dank edge to it as well but very very subtle yeah it's got a lovely sweetness about it so uh, without any further ado let's give this beer a try cheers That's really nice. The first thing you know with beers like this is the body is just lovely. It's soft, it's got a slight creaminess to it. Maintains a medium mouthfeel, but that creaminess just makes it feel a little bit bolder. Very soft, gentle sweetness throughout the drinking experience. Subtle tropical fruits. It's not overwhelming in that regard. The, the key word, even though it's a double IPA, is soft, balanced. You get a very slight resiny, dank edge to it. But not enough to overtake that sweetness, but then not enough to be under, you know, underwhelmed by that sweet. What? You know, just say it as it is, Pierce. I'm trying to sound clever. But yeah, that's, that's just a lovely double IPA. Very gentle bitterness on the back end. It's a little bit of a dankness there as well, which is always appreciated. And like a very sort of like a subtle lemony sherbetiness to it as well. The mastery with a beer like this is in its subtlety. As I said, key word for this review, soft. And it's just gentle. It's just really just a joy to drink, if that makes sense. Oh, that's lovely stuff. 
It's got like a very subtle spiciness that builds up on the back end, almost like a, a slight... It's not got the heat of Kay Cayenne, 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 however you want to say it. But it's got that sort of like a um, slight bell pepper note to it, which actually really works well. Like a nice red bell pepper. Mm, that's really good. Really, really nice. And I think I paid like three or four quid for it, so well worth the money. Would definitely drink again. Need to pick up more beers from these guys as well as more, you know, Swedish beers in general. But um, yeah, lovely stuff indeed. So just like it's ABV, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. In fact, no. Bulk that up to an 8.5. As I'm talking now, there's maybe a little bit of like a, a warmth coming through. So the ABV does slightly come creep up um, on the, uh, the back end after you've taken a few sips. And I'd imagine as the beer slightly warms up, that might be a little bit more detectable. But at the same time, that's not a complaint because when you want to know you're drinking an 8% beer sometimes. And I'm doing this review at, well, it's 20 past two, so it's not really early. But um, yeah, lovely stuff indeed. A cracking, cracking beer from Apex. So if you've tried this or any of beers from these guys, uh, we'll put the, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions, getting ahead of myself. Um, check out their social media links as well as their web shop if they've got one. And of course, big shout out to Beer52. Really enjoying uh, what's up on the web shop and I've still got points to use so I can see myself making another order before the, uh, the year comes to a close. And the good thing is when you buy beers from them, sounds like I can plug in Beer52, doesn't matter. When you buy beers from them, you can actually rate them and get more points to spend in the shop, which is, yeah, not too bad, is it? If you're buying regularly from them, you've got a nice little, you know, thing going on there. Anyway, I'm not paid nor supported by Beer52. These thoughts opinions are clearly my own. But I would become a shill at the drop of a hat if it was possible and uh, don't say you wouldn't do it anyway don't know what that was don't really care i'm gonna make myself some food and i'm gonna enjoy the rest of that beer as i do it cheers folks and you all take care ta-da now ta-da now